being gibbeted alive was rarely carried out in the 18th century. But in one particularly gruesome crime in Berkshire, this extreme sentence was deemed fitting. The woods near the long-vanished St. Margaret's Priory became infamous for the haunting legacy of a vagrant whose brutal crime in the early 1700s led to his chilling punishment in a gibbet. The eerie tales and a mysterious photograph from the 1950s have perpetuated the legend of Cooper's ghost in the surrounding woods, adding a haunting dimension to this tranquil countryside. Located in the heart of Berkshire's rolling hills, Powley Farm, now part of RAF Welford, was once the site of St. Margaret's Priory. This religious establishment was surrendered in 1524 during the dissolution of the monasteries by its last prior, John Summers. Its historical roots, intertwined with tales of the supernatural, set the stage for a chilling story. Our narrative leads us into the depths of the nearby woods, Welford Woods, Field Cops and Down Cops. For over a century, these woods have been rumoured to be the haunting grounds of a ghost, a spectre whose origins are rooted in a horrific crime from the early 1700s. This ghost, believed to be the restless spirit of Robert Cooper, a vagrant of ill repute, has become a lesser known part of local folklore. Cooper's story is one marked by brutality and violence. In about 1704, in a village nearby, possibly Leck Hampstead or Chaddleworth, Cooper committed a crime so vile it etched his name in infamy. He encountered a widow returning from the market and after being rebuffed in his request for food, followed her home in a fit of anger. The events that followed were nothing short of barbaric. Cooper broke into her home at night, launching a savage assault. In a monstrous final act, he poured boiling water over her head and proceeded to stab her multiple times, nearly decapitating her with a large kitchen knife. This act of extreme cruelty horrified the local community. Captured and tried at the Reading Assizes, Cooper was met with a severe sentence. Upon conviction, he was condemned to a death penalty that involved hanging in chains. His body was to be encased in an iron gibbet and prominently displayed on a tree along the main road linking Hungerford and Wantage. This grim display likely occurred near the aforementioned woods or at the Hangman's Stone, located on a lane bearing the same name. While this method was commonly used as a deterrent for executed murderers, Cooper's sentence was intensified due to the horrific nature of his crime, with the judge ordering that he be placed in the gibbet alive. He remained there until he died of exposure, hunger and thirst. The first accounts of ghostly sightings in these woods surfaced in the 1860s with reports of eerie shrieks and guttural groans resonating through the trees. These unsettling noises, combined with the ghastly history of the area, nurtured the legend of Cooper's ghost. Adding a tangible element to these ghostly tales, a mysterious photograph taken in the late 1950s allegedly captured this spectral presence. The image, still a topic of debate, reportedly shows a skeletal figure on the right-hand side of the frame, its form eerily wandering through the forest. Even more chilling is the appearance of what seems to be a demonic face with horn-like features just left of the center. This photograph, although facing questions of authenticity, has only intensified the legend of the haunted woods around Poli Farm. Today, the tragic and gruesome tale of Robert Cooper casts a shadow over the surrounding woods. With much of the area off-limits to the public due to its affiliation with RAF Welford, the mystery deepens, leaving the ghostly whispers and tales of terror to echo through the trees.
a haunting reminder of the dark history that lingers in this seemingly tranquil part of the English countryside. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, in the world of deceptive realities, not everything is as it seems.